Hey everybody, welcome back. So this week we're going to be taking a live stream from Twitch that I did a couple weeks ago and cutting it up. So the content of that stream was we took a USB MIDI controller and we assigned faders and buttons to use vMix, specifically vMix Call. So I'm going to be showing you the first portion of that today where we assign the faders and probably the first row of buttons. Uh, I'm gonna try to get keep this in that 10 minute time period like you guys are used to. So if this is interesting to you, stay tuned. Um, I'll probably finish up and do the rest of it at another time. So hope you enjoy. Let's get, get this put up here. Um, so this is my setup as I have it now. And what I wanna go through is I wanna talk about what you can do and how you can use this MIDI controller. Now, again, if you take a look at this, there are eight, nine faders. Uh, there are nine faders and there's 64 buttons. And what I want to show you, what we can do is, is how we can use these uh, to control audio for vMix calls. What I want to do with this specifically is when I saw this, I was like, oh, vMix calls. You can have up to eight vMix calls. There are eight faders on here, plus another one for master. What else can you do with this? And it turns out quite a lot. Uh, again, we have 64 very, very beautiful keys right here. They light up in several colors. I've already programmed some. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this slate clean. We're gonna program some more. So let's get right into it. Um, what do you do after you plug this up? So you buy one of these, you plug it up, you launch VMix. Where do we go next? Where we go where we normally go? in that setting. So I apologize, my camera is over here, my monitor is over here, so there might be a lot of side shot um, in, in me doing things. So we're in settings, we can go to shortcuts. We will also be going to activators a lot as well, but we're gonna start in shortcuts. As you can see, I've already made a bunch of these for this particular device. Now, before we get really, really into anything, one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is go to MIDI settings. And you want to actually click your device. Just having it plugged in and VMix on does not mean they are going to connect and or talk to each other. You have to actually tell it to turn on, to turn on and that you wanna use it. So you've done that, we click okay. So now, as you can see, let me, before we go anywhere, don't make me restart, thank you. My, this, this is the one I have locally. There are no longer lights on, nothing. It's still working, it's still plugged in, but that's what the activators were. They were indicators that we were using the product. So, what settings, settings. And I have kind of um, a bunch of inputs down here to for a basic show. I've got two VMix calls set up, one is a laptop to the left of me, one is my tablet to the right of me. Um, and we'll get into those a little bit later. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to control my audio. So as any shortcut making, we go to shortcuts, we click add, we click find, and it wants me to do a thing. And all I'm gonna do is raise and lower this fader. It recognizes where the channel and the note is. All right, it gives me all that stuff. I'm gonna leave it as default. Function, audio, set volume. There we go, set volume. And I wanna do one. I don't wanna click okay. So now, if I scoot this over. Input one, which was my intro video. I am moving. If you look over here, you can see my finger move. And you look over here, and you see that fader move. So there we go, so now we have volume control. So we're gonna do that seven more times, eight more times, because we have a mask. All right, so now I'm gonna, so that's how long it took to make those. Clone, 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 clone. And you'll notice this is red now because we're gonna double click to edit, find, because it's registering the fact that it's 
set for two different things and there's a conflict. So that was five, one, two, three, four, five, six. You'd think I could, I would just keep my finger on here and then have to do it from there, but no. All right, so edits, eh, maybe cloning is a little bit easier. Like I said, the biggest thing is it's saving you time on seven, on the part where you have to just find the name of the thing you want to do. So that should be number eight. I'm going to do one more. Notice all the red went away. Find that function. Set master volume. All right, so now we have, we're going to, we're going to hit OK. Faders, 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 faders faders and a master now you can hear me now you can hear me so and again there was a reason i just did one through eight because now i what i can do is let's say i'm not going to use that intro anymore but there's something else i do need audio on if you don't know this trick when it comes to vmix i'm going to show you drag yeah drag and we'll pop it there so and i don't need the intro anymore so let's get rid of the intro let's pop it down there next to the other thing i closed off so now my you know what none of those really need to be none of those have audio so it doesn't matter but so now my first call, my first call is actually input four. So one, two, three, four. That's my first call. That's my second call. So if I was using eight calls, I would just move all of those to one through eight. I probably would have started by building the show, building those first. Or if I had made them all in a row somewhere else, Make, let's say nine through 16, I would just select those inputs. Kind of, kind of simple and straightforward. You pick eight or pick the ones you need and then make them, put them wherever you want. You know what I'm going to do? I don't want to get confused. I'm going to make them one and two, just faders one and two. Now, once I've done this, it's what we're about to start doing next kind of comes into play and is important. Hey, oh, uh, editing Redbeard here. So I have to stop myself right then and there because I noticed a trick that I didn't catch during the stream. And that is if you look at, I dragged the inputs and made my two VMix calls one and two. But as I ride up and down those faders, faders one and two are not what's going up and down. So you can move boxes, you can change inputs, and when you build pips, that I believe will change the input that's in the pip because when you build a pip, you're assigning a number more so than an actual input. So when you then move that input, it whatever else winds up being three uh, gets moved. So um, if you do change your inputs, the point, the point of this break-in was, if you do change your inputs, you do need to go back in and reassign that fader to that input. So when we build all of those buttons and then we start moving things around, we are no longer pressing the first button for what is now input one. We are pressing the first button or the first fader for what used to be input one. So build out your layout, put everything where you want it to be before you start assigning buttons because then you have to go back and fix everything which if you're only doing faders not that big of a deal but once you start doing eight buttons or even four or five buttons like we wind up doing later on it can become a hassle so sorry for that interruption i wanted to correct myself more video so I think we're just going to end it there. I appreciate you guys watching till the end. If you made it this far, if you haven't already, please hit that like or that subscribe button, leave me comments, 
Let me know about some MIDI controllers you've used with vMix. Um, I do have the video about the Stream Deck, so I know the Stream Deck is there and is very useful, um, and I do love the Stream Deck, so I don't want to take away from that, but this was $100 versus $250 for the Stream Deck XL, and you get twice as many buttons. It just takes a lot more time to program. Um, so I am going to do probably one more video about this with some of the other buttons I put in. So look for that in the future. And I am going to try to start doing some Twitch streams on Friday. If you don't watch Twitch and would prefer I do live streams here on YouTube, let me know. Um, I also have a Patreon page set up. Um, I have an official web page set up. There's not a lot there right now. I'm trying to just build everything out as I feel the need or the availability for it all. So if you haven't already, find me on Facebook as well. Leave me comments there or on Twitter or any other social media or any of the other social media platforms I have a page on. So thanks so much for watching. I've been Redbeard, and this is what I do.